much the same as always. Fräulein Koss, you hear me? I put my foot down. Fräulein Koss, Fräulein Koss. Frau Schneider, good evening. Oh, it's you, such a surprise. Uh, you are occupied? Oh, no, free as a bird. Please forgive my appearance. Oh, but it is most becoming. Thank you. I have brought you a little something from the shop. Another little something. Mm, with my compliments. Oh. oh, so heavy. But what can it be? Pears? No, last Wednesday you brought me pears. And such pears. <laughs> apples, possibly. No, Friday was apples. Uh, Friday was apples, yeah. So I cannot guess. Then open it. Oh, can I believe what I see? But this is too much to accept. So rare, so costly, so luxurious. <laughs> if you brought me diamonds, if you brought me pearls, if you brought me roses like some other gents might bring to us a girl, it couldn't please me more than the gift I see. A pineapple for me. If in your emotion you began to sway, then to get some air or grab a chair to keep from fainting dead away, it couldn't please me more than to see you cling to the pineapple. I can hear Hawaiian breezes blow. Ah, it's from California. Even so, how am I to thank you? Oh, kindly let it pass. Would you like a slice? That might be nice, but frankly, it would give me gas. Then we shall leave it here. Not to eat, but see. A pineapple for me. From me. Ah, ah, ah. not bring me any more pineapples, do you hear? It is not proper. It is a gift that a young man brings to his lady love. It makes me blush. Oh, but there is no one, no one in all Berlin who is more deserving. If I could have it fill your entire room with pineapples. <laughs> A pineapple for you. From you. Oh, the hair shoes. I must go lie down for a few minutes. My head is spinning. Well, good evening, Fräulein Schneider. <laughs> good evening, Herr Schulz.